Welcome everybody. Welcome to another show of Javi's Late Show. Uh, today I have a special guest here today with me, Kayla. Yeah. So, tell me about yourself. How'd you How'd you hear about it? Um, I was watching uh, probably like 18. I don't know. Um, it actually started with um, Scotty's Trailer Trash, and my dad and I were watching it together. And afterwards, there was a commercial. Uh, I think Nikki put together, and it was like, "Hey, come on down. There's you know." free classes and you, know, you can learn how to produce your own show if you want and we were like let's do that like you know we live literally five minutes away from the studio so we came and we went to all the classes um, all the introduction classes and you know learned how to do cameras and directing and sound you know a little bit of everything they teach you in the beginning and um, that was about I think three years ago and at first I just volunteered for like every show I could and so pretty much every day of the week I was here and uh, it was a lot of fun and I met a lot of people and then after that um, in October I started directing the Carl Steinberg show so um, it's come a long way like I went I direct and edit so and it went from like doing camera on every show to now I'm directing a show and editing a show like it's really exciting and um, I'm really happy with how far I've come. <laughs> that's right. The Carl Steinberg show, that's that's a really fun show. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, every time I come in, you get, you and your dad, you're editing. Yep. Uh, a lot of people don't know who your dad is. Do you, do you want to let people know who he is? Or uh, Jesse. <laughs> Jesse. He, uh, he was on my uh, show yep. uh, previously. And he was on the board of directors. He's, he was on the board of directors. Really funny guy. Yeah. I, you know, when people ask, you know, I was like, do you know anybody who are, who is or are willing to like help me on the show? I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, I know two people. Yeah. You know, and it's always like straight to you, to you, to you two. Yeah. You know, you say, I was like, I know Kayla and Jesse, they're really like fast and really quick and, yeah. you know, they could get here quick and they're really fast at what they do. Yeah. And, you know, but that, that's that. But when you're talking about your show, uh, the Carl Steinberg show, I was like, you know, I come in, you guys are working in it. Yeah. But then you show me what you guys have. And seriously, it's like, I really don't like this show. Yeah. Like, I actually <laughs> sit there and laugh with you guys. I know you guys are like done. They're like, well, wow, it's funny. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. You know, scrubbing through <laughs> the footage and stuff. But uh, to me, that I don't, I'm not here we, when you guys are shooting. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm here when you guys are editing. And I like to see everything that's all pieced together. Yeah. Like jokes are cut, cut well and stuff. And yeah. it's really funny. Uh, so when you started doing that, I mean, did you, you know, did you and your dad like decide to create the show like how long did it take you guys to create it well he has been um, really it's it's more of his baby and I'm just like helping him with it um, he started writing bits for it about two years ago so he has like three notebooks full of just like jokes and bits and you know different characters so every time he got an idea he would write it down and um, we waited because we didn't know, like, you know, we thought everything had to be perfect. Like, we had to set, we had to have people. Um, but I'm glad we didn't wait too long because it really started coming together after we started doing it. It was like we didn't know what we were going to have to keep or um, throw away until we actually started doing it. And um, that's really how, that was my first thing I ever really seriously directed. And I'm honestly a much better editor than I am a director, but <laughs> with every show I improve, and that's a really fun experience for me. But it helps directing because then you have less to cut, right? Yeah. Pretty much all you have to do in, in post production, which is editing, is you know cutting the pieces that you didn't want, yeah. you know exactly, and you know adding music or you know graphics that you didn't have at that time, right? So you know everything works you know all together, but. You know, you and your dad are making this show. Is there any yeah. anything else like you plan to do? I mean, you know, you edit, you shoot, you know, or you edit, you direct. Mm -hmm. But you know, you went to school as as a photographer. Yep. Like, where do you, uh, you know, where do you put those skills in? Because you shoot here for the country music jubilee. Yep. And then, is there anything else I'm missing? Um, it was a lot of shows, but then that's like the one that yeah, keeps coming there, up. Yeah, there was a lot of them that just like went away. Like Art Cunningham I was on right. and he retired and he went to Florida. Um, Partying it up, of course, right? Yeah, of course. Of course. Um, there was another one. It was a talk show. Um, I forget his name, but he also retired and he just like went and moved to Miami yeah. or something. Whoa, um, really? Uh, I forget. I think his name was Jerry or something. 
Um, there's, a, there's another fun show I really like called In the Dark that's with um, James Tushy Peters. Oh, that's that, right. Oh, my God. That show yeah. is so fun. That's literally the funnest show I do here. I mean, I love Carl Steinberg's show, too, yeah. now. But, like, it was the funnest show that I did here. Um, it's a really interesting concept, and I'm really excited about um, the future possibilities for that because um, – I don't know if I can talk about it, but they they, yeah. they want to make this into a real show, oh, and for sure. they asked me and my dad to come along with them, and I was I was surprised because I thought they would get you know professionals, mm -hmm. but you know we we do good work, and they wanted to bring us with. And the producer is Tim Conway, right? I yeah. Mean, we yep. gotta get the guy in here and be like, hey, let's make it happen. What's yeah. going on? What's the wait? Yeah. But I know he's a busy guy and everything else. But yeah. you know, talking about shooting, so you're a photographer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, do you have anything that we can see? that's you know online or because i know you went to uh, a couple of music shows yep or um what, what would you call them music festivals music festivals yeah. and you're shooting for them and um so what what is that your type of music like when you go out there is this is this like what you listen to um yeah actually um it's really hard when people ask me like what type of music i listen to because literally it's everything like i will give anything a listen so if you go through my iTunes and you put it on shuffle, like you will literally see like 10 different genres like in the first five minutes. Um, but the music festivals I go to are all like DJ based and then there's also some live jam band, but it's all um, electronic music. So okay. um, EDM, electronic dance music, that's basically what it is. Nice. It's really fun. It's twice a year I go to one um, called Infrasound and it's uh, in Wisconsin and there's one in um, May, and then there's one in September. Um, so the next one's coming up pretty quick. Um, it's it's pretty life-changing. Like, That's the people cool. there are so friendly, and it's a really fun place. And yeah. I really like it, yeah. That's really cool. I've always wanted to go to one, but I was like, man, I don't know. I don't know if I could survive out there. Cause <laughs> it's like, it's like a three-day kind of festival, yeah, right? Yeah, you're camping. Yeah. I don't have very well camping skills for that i don't know <laughs> like i'm pretty bad at it well this uh the cool thing about this festival is it actually has like indoor plumbing it has showers it has a restaurant on scene nice. like um everyone is really friendly like if you like forget a canopy for your tent or something there's someone's gonna borrow it to you the first night it, the first um time i went out there was a couple years ago and i'd forgot to bring a tarp to put underneath so i didn't get like moisture in my tent oh. and someone just borrowed it to me he's like yeah you can borrow this the whole weekend and then afterwards i gave it back to him people are really nice that's pretty cool you see it's like that's i wouldn't even know about a tent i would be like digging yeah. a fox <laughs> hole or something like that sleeping yeah. in it um so t tell us more about kayla so you know you produce mm -hmm. you edit yeah. you know you shoot so what else do we not know about kayla because uh, a lot of people say, like, oh, who's that person? Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it's like, what else do, do we not know about you? I, mean, um, I, I don't know. Um, like. Tell us, tell us, your, like, your experiences. Um, how, how tough was it when, you know, when you first started coming here? Oh, you did, uh, did you know exactly what you were planning to do? Like, did you well, have a, a skill in mind where you're like, I'm going to do that only or did it branch out like I could do that? I could yeah, do that. yeah, I kind of did actually because uh, I went to school for photography, and uh, one of our mandatory classes was a um, video class, and so we actually used the same cameras that we use here for portables. That's what we were using, and so then that's um, I didn't use Final Cut Pro. I used Premiere, um, but basically that's whenever I first fell in love with video, and I was like, I actually want to do this instead of still images. I still love those, but video is just. Um, I don't know, it's more exciting, I guess. Yeah. Um, so whenever I started coming here, I knew I wanted to do camera. Like, that's that was the thing I was gonna focus on. And um, I already knew all the, the basic skills, like, you know, um, the rule of thirds and, you know, headroom and, you know, giving people space in front of them whenever they're talking or singing or looking at a direction. Um, you know, all the little basic things that I had learned in school for photography just, like, carried over into doing camera at the studio. So um, since I already had sort of like that background, it wasn't as hard as I think it could be, but still it's not that very hard because everyone is so nice here and um, if you have any questions at all, you can go to any of the other members or any of the um, studio managers and they're really happy to help you out. And everybody's willing to help everybody out. Yeah. It's like, 
you know, a lot of people come out to me and they're like, oh, sorry to bother you. It's like, don't be, don't be sorry. Yeah. It's like, that's where we're here. It's like, if you have, you know, trouble or, you know, if you don't understand it, we're, that's why we're here, you know, it's yeah. like, try to make it easy for you. You know, that's like, it, I don't understand why people say, like, sorry, it's like, no, it's like, <laughs> tell, give me everything you have. Give yeah. me all your problems, you know. But, you know, I, I was the same way because I went to school for photography mm -hmm. and I was like, Photography is very like, to me, it became a little too simple. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's more to it than what I knew about it, mm -hmm. but it was a little, I was like, well, I like filming, you yeah. know, and I, that's, I, I like watching movies. I was like, <laughs> what? So that's where I began in going into the whole film world and understanding everything. And, you know, that's how I got into the whole film world because of ugh, photography. Yeah. I thought photography was gonna be like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm go big on this, but uh -huh. film is where I wanna go big and yeah. who knows? I mean, I have my own talk show, so I feel yeah. like I've already gotten big, so yeah. I don't know. Um, so tell us more about, you know, like uh, achieving like what, everything became basic, but what else, what else like can you tell us like, if there was somebody that was gonna be coming in here, but they're hesi hesitating, like, well, it, you know, everybody learns different. Yeah, I would say just go to um, a few shows, just like sit on them. Like, Country Music Jubilee was the first show I ever worked on, and I didn't even work on a camera. I was just basically observing. Shadowing? Yeah, I was shadowing just basically someone? shadowing and observing, and um, Wyatt didn't really know where he wanted to put me, but I knew I wanted to do camera, and he knew that that was something I was interested in, so I just basically watched. And then um, I think the next time, then he's like, okay, do you want to you know, try camera or whatever? And so I did. Um, but even if you're not up to like actually jumping on a camera right away, just going in somewhere and just watching, or going in on a show and just saying, hey, can I just you know, sit and like learn basically. Or even I would suggest talking to studio managers and maybe setting aside some time to come in and having them teach you how to run the cameras. And they're really nice and it's really not anything to be scared of. Like mm -hmm. um, it's, it's really, um, there's nothing to hesitate for here because you don't have to do anything you don't want to. And if there's any questions, people are really happy to help. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, like Roger, he's one of the city managers. Mm -hmm. I mean, this guy's like really laid back and yeah. he's like, oh, I can help you. Yeah. You know, it's like you're never going to get like that, like, oh, <laughs> all right. Yeah. You know, we're all always happy to help everybody. Yeah. Like you said, it's like we're here to help. And, you know, it's just um, we're always happy. Yeah. That's all I can say. Um, so what's what's next for the Carl Steinberg? I mean, is there going to be like a special guest or well, we've already, sh um, this next episode is a little different. Um, it's going to be shot in segments. Um, we have two kind of co-hosts, and we already shot um, the first co-host um, piece. We, it was really fun. Um, last week we went downtown and we shot um, interviews on the street, and that was really fun. And the next one we're going to do is probably the second week in May, we're going to go to the other co-host house and she's gonna do like a, a cooking segment that's very cool so. so you're starting to you guys are starting to like branch out like yeah it's like everything was done in the studio but yep, now you guys yeah. are go, starting to go on location yeah wow. yeah we and yeah we have more plans for we have like you know restaurant review plans and stuff we have more on location yeah. plans especially since it's warming up now yeah living in minnesota you kind of have to live by mother nature's rules <laughs> yeah exactly it's gonna be, like seriously i was like i, I love watching your guys show because it's, mm -hmm. it's never dull it's always like a funny mm -hmm. moment yeah. and you know carl steinberg i mean that's a really funny guy i don't yeah. know how justin <laughs> met this guy but he's a really funny guy yeah and you know it just what we were talking about last time we're like he should come here and I should interview the guy. But, yeah. You yeah. know, Jesse needs to call him first and you know, get <laughs> yeah. something done. So, uh, but you're the boss, you're the product, you're the producer of this show almost. I'm the right. director. Director. Director and editor. Co-producer. Yep, co-producer. Co-producer, so I don't mm -hmm. know. You could probably pull some strings maybe. Yeah. Get something <laughs> happening. Yeah. Um, but I see the time is almost running out. Mm -hmm. um, Kelly, do you want to let people know when, where, or the name of your production? Just so people like, have an idea of where to catch it? Yeah, um, if you go onto Facebook and type in The Carl Steinberg Show, all one word, um, you'll um, get to our Facebook page and that's where we, we post updates, we post behind the scenes and um, as soon as we get another show done or whenever we're actually shooting it, we post on there and then from there, after that, we get a schedule from these guys 
and then we'll post um, every time that the um, show is going to be on air. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you, Kayla. Thank you thank for you. being <laughs> on my show. I really appreciate it. And everybody, everybody out there, uh, if you ever have any questions, please come in and let us know. Um, this is, again, uh, the Hobby's Life Show. And if you have, if you just want to contact us, please contact nwtt.org or 763-278-4330. All right, you guys, take it easy. Bye. Thanks for watching.